Hi everyone. In this video, what we're going to talk about is uh, the business setup. Okay, so basically, when you're selling on Amazon, of course, you can just start an individual Amazon account, sell under your personal name. But I strongly recommend that you set up a business, uh, even an LLC or C Corp, if you're selling in America, before you start to sell. Why? There's several benefits to this. Uh, if there's if you're selling a product and there's any liability or claim. If you're selling as an individual, all that liability is on you. Companies are there to take away any personal liability and it stays with the company. The other thing about having some form of company between you and the business is that basically any business expenses, if you set up the company the right way, you can then deduct those before paying tax. So there's also a tax saving aspect to it. I'm not going to go into huge detail on the legal and tax side of this. If you want to know more, or you have kind of a unique situation personally, I recommend you, uh, you know, buy a book on Amazon about it and then speak to an expert once you've had some time to do a little bit of study about it because there's no point paying an expert hundreds of dollars an hour when you don't have a ground knowledge in it. Okay, so basically, if you're selling in Amazon America, uh, you have two main options for the type of company you can set up, and that's an LLC, Limited Liability Corporation, or a C Corp, uh, which is a corporation itself. So, as you're a beginner, and you're new, and you're not putting in 100 million of funding to, to set up you know, the next IPO venture, what I strongly recommend is you go down the LLC route, because it's simpler. There are certain things you can do with the LLC that uh, give you additional tax benefits and protections too. Um, and for 99.99% of sellers in the US, LLC is going to be the better solution simply because it's simpler and has all the benefits um, of a corporation in terms of tax and asset protection. The C Corp is really there for additional, you know, like having a board of governors and all of these kind of more complicated business processes, which you're not going to have as a new Amazon seller. Okay, so then within LLCs, if it's just you, then it would be called a single member LLC. Uh, and if there's many people forming their LLC, it would be called a many member LLC. Um, and automatically, if you don't do anything when you're filing the LLC, um, if you just have a single member LLC, the government will pretend it's not there and all of the profits and expenses and everything flow through to your personal tax return and you have to handle that with your personal return as well. In terms of uh, if there's two or more of you forming the LLC, then it will get treated as a partnership and flow through to your personal income tax uh, as well. So there is something you can do to make the taxes um, more like a corporation in that the company handles all the expenses and taxes first and that's electing to be an S Corp. Again, I strongly recommend you do a little bit of reading online, a little bit of uh, speaking with an accountant when forming a company because the rules do slightly change. I want to make sure that for your specific situation you get the best advice. But I'm just going to tell you what 99% of sellers do when starting in America. If they're a US resident, they tend to form an LLC in Wyoming, the state of Wyoming, elect to be S Corp for taxes, because uh, this has some tax benefits and savings. For overseas sellers, I will, in another video, explain how you can set up to sell in America. I personally was based, or I was traveling all around Asia while selling on Amazon, it was very passive for me. Um, I'm still traveling around Asia, currently in Japan, and basically I found the best was to have an overseas company owning an LLC, which then collected payments, etc. in America. Uh, but I will go into that in a separate video. So really, this is business setups for US residents in America. If you're outside of America, it's an additional layer of complexity. If you're a US resident, um, I will try to create uh, some information that I can add and upload here for you. But honestly, if you're outside of America as a US citizen, the taxes can get really complicated. So you're better to speak to a specialist and make sure you get the very best advice for that up front before setting up. But for everyone else who's in America who wants to sell in America, a simple LLC 
um, in Wyoming is the best way to go in. Why Wyoming? It's just that the LLC and the 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 laws, the legalities are just the simplest and best in that state in terms of setting up LLCs. I mean, you can choose to elect to do it in other states. If you want to do that, I strongly advise you speak to a tax uh, tax accountant and the, the lawyer or the attorney setting up the company. Have a word with them, chat with them. They're very used to these questions. Most of their websites uh, will have lots of FAQs where you can answer why you would choose one state over another. I'm not going to pretend to give complicated legal or tax advice. I'm a specialist on Amazon. I'm not a specialist on taxes and corporations. My own setup led me to receive payments internationally. Absolutely no headache. It was fantastic. It was very easy. And the process wasn't very expensive and didn't take a long time. And if you're filing from the US to set up a company, it's even cheaper and faster. Thank you very much.